draw the graph for a country with this tax system. Okay. Now, on your, um, on your textbook there, just flick to the previous page. Okay. Now, what you're being asked to produce is something like this. Okay. Now, I want to point out some features to you of this. Okay. Number one, this graph is actually a bunch of graphs sewn together. Right? We have a name for this. It starts with a P. Does anyone remember? We call this a piecewise graph because it's a graph oh, yeah. and it's in several pieces. I'm okay. I hope that rings a bell, right? Piecewise. Piecewise. Okay. Or piecemeal. It means the same. Now, tell me, help me understand. Um, what makes these pieces different is that, like, this is steep this amount, and then this one gets steeper, and then this one gets steeper again. Why do the different parts of the graph have different steepnesses? And by the way, I'm going to stop saying steepnesses now because it's a weird word, and we have a better word for it. Gradient. We call it gradient, okay? Very good. <laughs> now, the gradient increases. Why is that? We'll return back to this page that you were looking at a second ago, okay? The gradient represents how much are you paying per dollar of income, how much tax are you paying. Right? Now, if you're paying 19 cents per dollar, that means it's going up at this amount, right? 19 cents per dollar. But as you transition into the next tax bracket, you're paying more, so it will be steeper. And then when you transition again, you get steeper another time. Okay? So when you come back to this graph, each of these represents each of these represents a tax bracket. Okay, so that's the first thing I wanted to point out. The second thing I want to point out is that this graph doesn't start at the origin. You can see where the origin is, right in the bottom left hand corner. Why doesn't it start at the origin? Because it only starts taxing people after a certain amount. Okay, very good. So what you've got here is this tax free income. Uh -huh. um, nice. Look at it with me. Can you tell me in this particular country what the tax free income is? Uh, eight. Is that, is that 16? Wait, tax, our tax. On this graph, in this country. So when I have a look at this, I'm just going to, I'm just going to treat it as if that's exactly on one of these grid lines, even if it's not, because I can't read it any better. Um, you've got $20,000 here, right? And then there's one, two, three, four, five markings to get you to 20000 So how much is each marking? It's 4000 each. So that makes this 4000 8,000, 12,000. So, please note, this is really, really important, right? The first $12,000 are tax free, and then they start taxing you at some amount, okay? Now, they represent this particular point where it switches, right? They represent it and they say, hey, look, $4,200. Um, they're, they're trying to give you more detail because it's hard to read, obviously, that accuracy. Right? So at that, um, at that amount up there, when you hit the next tax bracket, tax bracket they say that's $4,200 that you have to pay. Now look at, zoom out for a second now. This number represents, using $40,000, when you hit that $40,000, that's how much you have to pay. Now, no it's not, this is a very, very low taxing country. Okay? Now when you come here, What's the equivalent? What's like one of those points that we put on there? Actually, there's two. So the first thing that is in this country, it's not twelve thousand dollars that you get first tax free. What is the amount in here? Okay. It's eight thousand. So I read that here. Okay. So I'm like, okay, from zero to eight, we're all going to draw this in a minute. Once I get rid of this board. Okay. Then you start going up. Now, where do you go up to? Have a look. Eight thousand. I'm going to go up to from eight thousand one to twenty thousand dollars. The graph's going up. The second it hits twenty thousand dollars, I'm gonna to have to write this down because you have to help me. When you're earning twenty thousand dollars, how much tax are you paying? Can you use this to help me work it out? Yes. You're paying yes. thousand. How much? How much? Now, the number is this number, but why is it that number? Write this part down with me, right? For an income of twenty thousand dollars. Sorry, I have to squeeze it in over here. Okay. The amount of tax you pay is based on what it says over here on the right hand side, right? 19 cents per dollar in excess of 8,000. How many dollars are you in excess of 8,000? In excess of 8,000. It's 12,000, right? In other words, it's 20,000 take away 8,000. There's the 12,000. 
and you're multiplying that by how many cents in the dollar? 19. 19. So this is all in dollars. So I'm going to stay in dollars. So that's 0 0.19. Do you, do you agree with that? Now, when you go ahead and hit equals on your calculator, unsurprisingly, you should get 2,280. And that's what this number represents. It represents all the tax you paid in the previous brackets. Okay? And then you're going to have to pay more. <coughs> Now have a look at this number. What's this number going to represent? Probably all the, tax the rest of it. All the tax you paid in these brackets, and then if you pay, if you earn more than that, you're going to have to pay at a higher rate. Okay? So now we're ready. Draw yourself up a set of axes now. Uh, I reckon. Yeah, I reckon I could squeeze it in here. Okay. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to try and do as roughly as I can so that you can fit it onto here. Remember, look at your numbers here. Your first $8,000, rather, are tax free. Okay? So from zero up to $8,000, where is the line representing your tax? From zero to $8,000. Oh, well, there's no tax. There's no tax. So it's just here. I've, I've already drawn the line. Okay, there it is. But now here, from 8,001 to 20,000, so I'm going to go up here. 8,000, I guess that would make that 16,000, so 20,000 would be something like that. Okay. This is going to go up. It's going to go up. What's it going to go up to? Well, you've already worked this out, haven't you? At 20,000, this is how much you're going to pay. Exactly that amount. Okay, so let's plot that somewhere on here. Let's put, um, what did we say it was? 2280. 2280. Now, this is my tax axis. What's this axis? Your, your uh, income. This is my taxable income. income. Yeah, very good. Taxable income. Yeah. So from here, there's my $8,000 tax free. And I'm going to go up in a straight line to my $20,000 point. Okay? That's how much I'm earning. This, therefore, is how much tax I'm paying. I'm almost there. Have a look. What's the next bracket over? It's the next amount. Look. Okay. It's 60. Good. So that's 20. So I need to go another three times. So over here, over here. So there's 60,000. Okay. Now, you don't have to do any calculation. They've done it all for you. If you earn exactly 60,000, how much tax are you pay? That number. Right? Do you see it? Um, let's try and do this reasonably. So that's... Uh, it's about eight times higher, that's why I put that number so low. So if I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh -huh. eight, okay? Because I put a scale, I've got to be consistent. You guys have got graph paper, so you can do this better than I can. At $60,000, you're going to go all the way up until here. How's that? Thereabouts. Whoosh. Big job. So there's 60,000 and there is my 16, uh, 280, sorry. 280. I haven't left myself enough space, but there's one last thing that needs to be added here, right? Which is the next tax bracket goes even steeper. So it's like, okay, shallow, steep. The next one on my axis is going to go higher. Okay. So what you've done is you've replicated, here it is. This thing here, can you see? It's got no upper limit, it just kind of keeps on going, right? Because after that, it's like there's no end. It's not like the, the tax bracket ends and then you change again. It's just going to go on and on forever. 40 tax. Okay.